and good morning. Hello and good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Let me crank the music down. Where are we? Here we go, here we go. There's some music. I'm I'm a little off here on my. Uh, I'm a little off on my uh, t my uh, the graphics here, as you can see. Rich Roberts, Fireman Rich here on the Twitch with my very good friend and brother veteran Tony D in the house, and this is uh, uh, with another guest stars. We're doing the guest stars, and Tony. Uh, uh, How's the picture on your end? Good, because I'm dropping a few frames, not many, but uh, um, from what I'm seeing on my tablet, because I don't have the Surface 3, I'm using the tablet this Sunday. I'm just sort of winging it here, and it looks like the picture's really good, but I... Um, I didn't I, know my microphone was off that whole time. You're 100%. Real, real. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know my mic was off. My bad. <laughs> Um, hang on for a minute, Tony. Let me. Uh, I'm, I'm posting this out on Truth Social over there on Threads, and uh, let's see, Getter, Gab. I'm posting it over on Facebook, and uh, we're just gonna. We just. I just decided to come up. This is a I, I, impromptu. Impro. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you, Tony. I just. Uh, um, I was watching Cup of Joe playing PUBG, and he was kicking ass. And I was planning on getting on the, the game because uh, you don't play that game, do you? No, I don't no. do a lot of those video games. No, they're, they're well, it's, 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 and I used to play when I was a kid. It'll get you. It'll yeah, get you. Right. Yeah. And uh, but uh, oh, let me see what what screen I gotta see when I'm on guest stars. I don't know what screen I want. Do I want the OBS? Or do I want the guest stars tab and stuff like that? I think I want. It doesn't matter. Um, I gotta get this other stuff out of the way here. But uh, but yeah, we're getting our day started here on a Sunday morning, impromptu because I didn't know what else to do, and I figured, oh, what the hell? Let's go ahead and see what Tony has because he's been doing a lot of broadcasting this week. I've been Tony. I've been doing a lot of catch up on my replays for you, <laughs> especially over there with you and Click. Oh my God, it's like a marathon view when I'm watching you guys. It's you know what's like, scary? What you've seen over the past week? Yeah. Normal. I'm about, I think I'm about two or three broadcasts behind what I normally do. <laughs> it just seems like you're, yeah. you're, you're cranking it out and stuff. I do not, it's not a morning coffee. I just have the water. We finished the morning coffee up. The, the missus, what are you making out there? Me? Yeah. Oh, she's shredding the zucchini. We had uh, we went to a barbecue of uh, her her older brother I didn't there. Get the zucchini at the barbecue. Huh? I didn't get the zucchini. No, I'm gonna get to that. You gotta okay. wait. You gotta, <laughs> gotta let me finish. No. Tony's got the omelet going. Look at that. Oh wow. You could probably use a little zucchini in that, right? Shredded. Yeah. No, you don't like. The, oh no. How about zucchini bread? No, I don't do zucchini too much. Hmm? I'll do it in the zucchini bread. Oh, you got uh, Jason there. Hi, Jason. Good morning. And um, and uh, but uh, we had a, a barbecue we went to yesterday. Uh, her uh, nice. older brother has a chicken barbecue. Hadn't had one in a while. It's actually the first one I've been to in quite some time because uh, with the work and stuff like that on the Saturday. But almost every year. Yeah, he puts one on almost every yeah, year. I say good morning because she'd be killing yeah. me over there. Tony says good morning. Good morning. She knows. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know you love that, Tony. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, we had a, a barbecue yesterday, and uh, I hadn't been to one chicken barbecue. I don't normally eat. Uh, I'm very particular about uh, chicken barbecues and stuff like that. And uh, usually, I just uh, there was this potato salad was to kill. I love potato salad. Um, I, and I guess it was, uh, my brother-in-law's son's girlfriend, her first attempt uh -huh. at it. And it, it had, you know, you, you put bacon in anything, you can't go wrong. 
She put and, bacon in her potato Oh, yeah, and it was good. <laughs> And shredded cheddar cheese, yeah, and uh, my goodness, yeah, that was it was loaded and it was good. Uh, and, I think she's a keeper. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, we had family there and stuff. It was good to 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 see family and stuff like that. So and we almost got rained out, but uh, the rain held up. But it was hotter than hell and humidity. Right. And uh, as far as that goes, so uh, good Saturday. I hope your Saturday was good. Well, you got Jason. So what did you guys do yesterday? Nothing. Um. I did laundry. We went out to, uh, where did we go yesterday? I was going to take him to a pizza buffet. Okay, okay. But then we went outside the door. Right. Just to get inside with the fries. Right. So we just went and grabbed um, American Deli. I got cheesesteak wings and fries. He got wings and fries. We came back and then I did the show with Good Fries. Yep, yep. I caught I caught some of the replay this morning and stuff like that uh, as far as uh, just ma- bouncing around on the replays and stuff. And, uh, uh, Oh, let me see. I can get that up open here. Let me get this for just a second. Oh, everything we just took, we just took it easy for the weekend. Huh? Yeah, yeah. The same here. We, um, um, I'm trying to think of what happened last weekend that we did. See, you're losing it already. <laughs> yeah, I just one. You know, I just relaxed. I, I got talking to some people yesterday. There was a gentleman at the the uh, the um, barbecue yesterday, and I, and I know you're so you're very familiar with the F15 and stuff like that. But have you ever worked around the F4s? No, no. Um, honestly, when I was at Tyndall, yeah, they did have it down there, but I was working down there security forces. Right. I didn't do the fitness on them. But uh, we trained on some of their components. Right. Kind of glad I didn't work on that plane. Uh huh. Because of how some of the stuff I was just I don't know, but most mechanics that I've known, yeah, they missed that. Plane. They said that was the best plane to work on. Well, there was a gentleman I, I hooked up with yesterday, and um, he he um, he worked for IBM back in the day. There, there's uh, an IBM plant in Owego that uh, it's not IBM now; it's something else. But uh, they do uh, uh, components and stuff like that. And he was on. You probably heard of this component, the Wild Weasel. Yes, that is the. That's the F4, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the F4. It's a, uh, it's, it's a, I think it's a package they put underneath the, the, the F4 to make it into the Wild Weasel. It's F4. the nickname more than anything, yeah. But I was talking to the gentleman. He actually built the packages, and all those packages initially, uh, um, when they were uh, put together, they were all put together by hand, the components and all that. It's not the automation that we had today, so it was very fascinating to, to talk to this guy that, uh, you know, it's sort of like, uh, uh, oh, it's one, once in a lifetime and stuff like that to get a hold of here. Hey, Melanie. Melanie is uh, in the, the chat there coming in from, um, God, i got to get my card here. I always have to get my card for Melanie to make sure I get it right here. She's from Rockhampton, South Queensland, um, uh, Australia. As far as that goes, on the other side of the world, and she's probably in her evening, evening time. As far as that goes, I don't have my weather thing up because we're not doing that bit. We're just, we're just free, uh, intro, impromptu, as Tony would say. Uh, we're doing and stuff, and uh, glad to have you here, Mel. How's the picture and how's the sound? Is it pretty good on your end? Because she's on the other side of the world. If we're doing good by her, then we got a good uh, broadcast going here and stuff. So, but. Uh, but I did hear on the um, the nonsensical nonsense there, Tony, that about the uh, bringing back the uh, and you, I know you talked about it on late night parenting the uh, uh, your football fantasy football thing, which would actually this is the time slot you would be doing it. So I'm sort of uh, giving that a platform because I'm look I, I, when I heard that is like I I I'm looking forward to it. Okay, Melanie says it's fantastic. Thank you, Melanie. Okay, your mic is off, I think, Tony. Mic is off again. I can't get any audio. I didn't know what turned off. Okay, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I didn't know what turned off. I didn't even touch it. This oh. is crazy. Oh, is it? Um, oh, Joe got... Burrows. Joe Burrows got hurt, and that's going to change things up. See, this is why I didn't want to do the draft, though. Oh. We got to wait for the draft to be solidified, and it... I want to see a couple of the preseason games. I used to get a draft one How year. come? Let we, me see. We I, went before the preseason started, and I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. Yeah. It don't take four weeks, and then you're going to be doing changes. No, I, I don't need but two weeks personally. Right, right, Maybe right. Maybe a week, probably. So anybody, who, you know, golf hall, he ready to go. 
Let, let me oh. see because there was one item I want to talk to you about football to give it the football flavor oh. here because I've got uh, uh, what do I have up here? I have uh, my uh, well, I got NFL, the NFL channel, but I didn't see anything about Burroughs is out. What the? How come I didn't Burles see that? He may be out for a few weeks. Because this is the list of all the injuries. Let me see if I can find the Bengals. See they? Oh wow! They all they have for there is uh, signings. They got court, oh maybe that's why. Okay, that's why because quarterback Reed Senate is expected to sign with the Bengals after working yeah. out with the team Saturday. Inside reports: the following head coach uh, Zach Taylor saying Friday that the team would add quarterback as Jim. Oh, he's okay. Then it's a strained calf. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize. Okay, how did he do that? Practice. Oh, okay, okay. Talking about practice. <laughs> okay, wow, wow. I wonder, well, it can't be that. If they're bringing him in, at, I guess it's at a precautionary. But don't they Say have, don't they have a, hey, Jason, good morning. How you doing? Good. Good, good to see you. I'm coming to sit down. Always good to see you. That's my man, yeah. He um, hurt himself in practice. I did see Jonathan Taylor requested a trade, so that's not good for the Colts. Okay, okay, but uh, the, don't the the uh, the signing of uh, Reed uh, Senate don't the Bengals have a backup though? You would think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, that's this is why I wait. They got to mix it up a little bit for everybody. Yeah, 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 They're yeah, yeah. yeah. Of the and everybody knows. Huh? No, it is. I got to challenge that. You can get it. You want it? Okay, they got. There's no more. Shit. They got expectations on the season. Uh huh. You know what everybody's going to do, and they're always mixing it up. Right. They always mix it up every season, so that's why I waited. And I'm waiting on purpose. Right. Yeah, I got you. Let's go situate. I apologize to all y'all. Look no, no, go ahead, Tony. This is just we're yeah. just we're, we're just sitting down at the kitchen table here and talking and stuff like that. I just had to finish my breakfast. All this combined related in. We still got running backs that aren't signed. Right, right, right. Ezekiel Elliott still isn't signed. Well, that, that was the other thing. Did you hear where he went? Who? Zeke. Well, he, he's okay. not. Uh, let me get to him here. Hang on. I got, uh, where the hell is it? Uh, supposedly, he he had a visit to uh, with the Patriots. And there was nothing. No, the, this is the latest off of what I'm seeing on here as far as, uh, uh, let me get to it. He they they didn't come to any agreement or anything like that, but they uh, they're still in connection with each other. So I'm I'm just wondering if that's because have you heard of any other team picking him up, wanting to pick him up? I heard he was looking at the um. That's a couple months ago. The Browns, the Bills. Yeah. Other than that, no. Yeah. If it goes to the Patriots, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't like it. I, they don't. <laughs> you don't think he'd be a good fit. Yeah. You don't think he'd be a good fit there? Well, yes, I do. I just don't want him there. He'll be a great fit. I don't oh, want him Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. He'll yeah. be a great fit. I'm not a Patriots fan. That's going to irritate me. Yeah. But if it works, it works. Yeah, that I just reading that, that he um, uh, <clears throat> he met with them, and they didn't come with an agreement, but they parted, but they're still in contact. So and that's the only team I've actually heard that he's actually talked to, unless you heard of something else that he's actually. I was expecting him to go back to Dallas. Yeah. Yeah, that's but what I thought. Got, yeah, I remember talking. You said that, oh, they'll pick him up. You know, he'll just lower his uh, salary cap or something like that. Because right now, Tony Pollard's going to be the starting running back. Right. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Well, he, he's been pretty good the last couple seasons for the Cowboys. Tony Pollard's been outstanding. Naheem Hines is out for the season with his injury from a jet ski accident. Uh-huh. Um, who just signed with the Titans? Um, let, me, let me see if DeAndre I can get Titans. it on the list here for the Titans. Because this, this list I'm looking at on NFL, it's uh, it's uh, NFL News Roundup, latest league updates for uh, Saturday, June 29th. So this is as of yesterday. That's mm -hmm. when I saw, I thought I saw the thing about, uh, let's see, Titans. Titans, Titans, Titans. Titans. There's the Cowboys. You know, I didn't. I don't think I saw it. They have. They actually. This is a good page right here. I know you use the NFL uh, page here for the uh, Sunday broadcast. They don't have any listing on here for the Titans. 
So yeah. DeAndre Hopkins signed with them through last week. Okay, so that's probably why it's already uh, past news and stuff like that. But then again, it's, it's current news for me that. Uh, um, and let's see. I didn't really see anything significant. What's this with the Panthers? Quarterback Jake Luton signs for the uh, I didn't see that. for the Panthers. Yeah, I didn't see that. He at signed all. that. Uh, and then for the Bills, you got Trevon uh, Mullen was signed and subsequently placed on the non-football injury list per the wire. The defensive back signed and placement on the list co coming days after the Ravens released him from f uh, failing to disclose a non-football injury. Oh, here's the Ravens. Uh, who did you say? Wide receiver? Zay Flowers missed Saturday's practice due to illness, but should be ready for Monday by Monday head coach for the practice. So they're uh, they're getting ready for the uh, for the preseason, I guess. Everybody's getting ready for the preseason. Um Sony Michelle's retiring. I'm like, wow. Mm hmm Because he's new. He's he's he hasn't been ten years in the league. Right, right. Well the, the the caliber of play right now that ten years, that's that's a career almost, really, with the you know, the banging around they're doing a lot. Well, actually, I don't know, was the banging around as much as it is? Yeah. It's probably even more so now, even with the precautionaries they have and stuff like that. And whatnot. So uh well the backs aren't lasting a decade. We had that conversation too. Yeah, the backs aren't lasting a decade at all. Yeah, yeah. Well and and, and, and I think that's the average for running backs too, when you look at it. Well it used to be longer, but they're running them so hard yeah. now. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So Derrick Henry is one of the long standing running backs right now. Uh huh. Uh, Samani Rowe from the Bengals. Another one. There's a, I got to think. God, there's a lot of them. Dalvin Cook visited the Jets. Yeah. I like that. I hope he comes. I doubt they'll do it, but they got room based on the contract reconstruction that. Aaron Rodgers did. Right. He gave up pretty much $35 million uh -huh. and signed with money for the Jets so they could sign somebody else, which is a good thing. Gotcha. So we got to see what they're going to do. Yeah. Melanie says, hello, Helen. Miss, is, is Helen in the room? I don't, I don't see, even see her. Yeah, I don't see her up on the comments, so I'm not sure unless uh, Melanie has Helen up I on the I mean, Helen, Helen, if you're here, good seeing you, good, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. We, doing we, and all that we, we've got a couple people and stuff. But um, as far as uh, preseason goes, when it starts, the Jets, uh, do you think they're going to be uh, right out of the gate, the first game, they're going to show Aaron Rodgers on the first uh, game, or are they just going to do yes. Oh, you they think? got to. You, okay. They got to. Yeah, yeah. They got to. But that's, 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 he's the bread and butter of their franchise right now. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that was a discussion yeah. yesterday at the barbecue I went to as far as, uh, uh, you know, I told him, I said, hey, I know some Jet fans that – they're very ecstatic uh, as far oh, as... Uh, we are elated. We yeah. can't wait. However, yeah. and I'm going to say this again. I told people more Knocking than once. Knocking on wood. <laughs> yeah. That schedule is brutal. Well, that was the other thing. Yeah, my uh, it was my old... Uh, pan, uh, the missus' his older sister, her, her uh, husband. He's he's a diehard, and he's, he's glad to see the change going on down there in Washington. He's always been a, a diehard uh, Washington uh, fan, okay? And mm -hmm. um, and he did say he did bring that up. He, he, he is with as much emphasis that you just placed on it. It's going to be brutal for See, them. So it's not just be good. Somebody else. That's, that's and he's not even a Jets fan, so he's recognizing right. that. So it's like that's good. I was like, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I know you told me that before, and I'm looking at it, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, they're playing this team, they're playing that team, and stuff like that. Of course, uh, um, was it this week? Let me see, August third. Um, it's a Thursday night game on NBC. That's where the Jets are playing Cleveland for preseason at uh, eight yeah, o'clock. Uh, eight o'clock. I gotta go to Scotia, so I'll be at work when the games are playing, which kind of bothers me. You got night duty? I, I told, yeah, I told Glick I got to um, we were going to broadcast when the game was playing, so we could talk jump to each other the oh, whole game. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I yeah. Gotta I got to start swing shift this week, and I'm like, oh, oh man, I oh, I got to do some major moves. Yeah, 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 yeah. How long are you on the swings? Right now it's just six weeks. Yeah, I'm normally I'll normally try to do twelve, but I might just stay at six this year. I need to do the twelve. I almost need to carry the rest of the year out on it. Right, but it's going to be detrimental when it comes to being there for Jason. Gotcha. That's the only problem. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. It wouldn't be an issue, but 
trying to be there for him and not taking the whole time off uh -huh. would be somewhat of an issue. Gotcha. I can try to make it work. And, you know, I talked to his mom about it. And she was like, well, we got to work that stuff. We don't have to work nothing out. I've done so. You already know what it is. What are you trying to say? Yeah. I got to. I, I got things happening over here. People don't realize. <laughs> no, it's real. It's what I call like, it. It's the real world stuff, there, Tony. That's the real world stuff. And it's it's, it's 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 close to getting heavy. Yeah. This month, definitely. Yeah. And I'll be on somewhat of pins and needles over the next two months. Right. I really will. Um, something's always popping up, and I always tell people I try to keep myself ready and prepared because a couple of things didn't go through. I was comfortable this year thinking some things were going to happen, and they didn't. Right. Stores a monkey wrench in. Then I had another one come right behind it. So I'm just like, I just got to throw my hands up. I can't do a lot of what I planned. I'll be lucky to make my family reunion this year. Right. Oh, well, you no, know, you got to make the family reunion. Is it? Do you take I mean, Jake? I, you... well, I was talking to her about it, and she was like, "Don't worry about it. We can do this." I said, "Listen, this is all I need. If I do go, what y'all are trying to do, don't worry about that. This will be all I need, and I can work yeah. out the rest. I'm yeah. my oldest yeah. brother, get up yeah. more than anything." Yeah. I can't bring Jason, which bothered the hell out. Oh of me. yeah, yeah. Because see, that's Jason's at the age that the, the, that's the the things you remember as a kid is those family gatherings and stuff. Well, he's been, but yeah. he starts school tomorrow. Oh, what? Yes. Get the freak! Out. <laughs> I'm seeing they the. Early Are you serious? Oh my yeah, god! Actually, tomorrow, I think you told this me week week this before, but oh my god. Yeah. They start school early down here, which is fine. And how's he trying feel? to get in July? But July yeah. is a real bad month for yeah. a lot of the families. Yeah. Yeah. For a lot of families, because everybody is vacationing in July. It's the one month yeah. everybody's out of school. Gotcha. I yeah. know up north we get out in June. Yeah. Down south we'll get out in May. Uh huh. And then down south they'll start in August. Well, up north we'll start right before Labor Day. I right. mean, we start right before Labor Day and sometimes afterwards. Yeah. So for him, he's going real early. And I'm like, he can't make the family union. The biggest thing for the family union definitely is the kids. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Did you freeze up on me? No, I'm I'm here. How we oh, doing? Okay. Yeah, I'm still yeah, we're here. Yeah, we good. We good. Yeah, it's it's it's, 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 it's at good. that time. It's going to be a little wonky and stuff like that. So I'm still in the the red to orange, orange to red as far as the encoder here. And it might be because I I've got some things in the background. Well, actually, I can shut that all down. Let me shut these down. I already posted. I always shut my extra windows down. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I'm I'm into this new uh this new workflow to where I'll uh, I'll preset my because I don't do the automatic uh, posting on the the social media thing. So I preset it and then I just go boom 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 right down the line and then close it out and stuff like that manually. Uh, I, it works a lot better than depending on the uh, the automated uh, posting to you know like I used to do it went well. I'm going to be back on Twitter this Thursday now. I guess so just to let you. Yeah, know. I'm going to get on you about that. Let me, let me, <laughs> okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about Twitter. Just so you know, I am I I didn't do this because I'm totally pissed off at Twitter or anything like that. I have some reason for it. It's sort of symbolic, you huh? You got your reasons. The change I saw they're going to get sued for the name change. That's they're not, like there's a hundred percent chance he's going to get sued for using that X because Metaverse has. I'm no, like, before okay. Metaverse, though, Tony, uh, a lot of people don't realize uh, um, uh, Microsoft has it also. Okay, it, it, and what's going to happen is because Elon, he's they changed the design. I think what's going to happen, though, in the latest news that I saw, they have the big X on top of the, the San Francisco headquarters, and that's glaring across the street, the light in the, in the apartments across the street, and the people that own those apartments are livid. I think that's more of a legitimate lawsuit than the copyright with X because he's he, Hold your damn blocks, next. <laughs> no, it's a, it, it, I don't know if you've seen a picture of it because it just took place. I have not. I have not. And I mean, you, you'll I'm see it. You'll see it. It's like a bright light that's just shining like there, like at an airport. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I got to see what else everybody's issue is with Twitter because Twitter isn't really giving a lot of people the problem. They're charging, and I got that. And I remember you saying how long you've been up there. And now you got to pay for this and pay for that. I get no, all. No, I don't have a problem just, with the pay though. Let, let me make okay. that. I don't have a. Pro they got to make money, and it's their sandbox yes. and stuff. I just thought uh, the 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 difference between when they went to the limit was to supposedly be temporary, but I think it's a done deal now. For the non non uh, verified users like me, but even though I've been on there for fourteen, they're only given a thousand views. Where if you pay that eight bucks, you get ten thousand. I think 
if you've been on there for a while, they should have that at least to two to three thousand. I think is. Bad. I don't know why they're limited views. Well, that like again, that that was supposed to be temporary, but I think it's I think it's a ploy to where if you use Twitter a lot, you're gonna say you, they're gonna probably get maybe 50, 60 percent of the people say, okay, I'll just pay the eight bucks because I I'm using it, and a lot of people use it for their jobs because of the information uh, that uh, they get from it. You just said something. The businesses, yes, are raking up off of Twitter feeds and Twitter retweets. Mm -hmm. So they got to, I give them that. Yeah. Twitter has given me so much freedom. Same here. I didn't realize. And I'll go back to when we were on a formal platform, a bunch of us, when we were looking for each other, we couldn't message on there, but yep. we could message on Twitter. Yeah. That's what a lot of us use it for, especially me. I wasn't really on Twitter before I got up here with everybody else. And we oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you also, when you broadcast, you could throw everything on Twitter the same way you can on Facebook. Right. Even when I do the music in the background, they don't give me any. Oh yeah, that that that's the one thing about Twitter. They never really um, they don't, like. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I think they don't give a damn. Yeah, that's just pissing everybody off. They're gonna let everybody do what they want to do. They're reactivating accounts. Trump got his account reactivated. Reason Islam got his account reactivated. Right. I just saw yesterday Kanye West got his account reactivated. Right. A lot of people with the restrictions. If he's giving so much of the freedom of speech and letting people be themselves, what is the issue against it except for AI technology? Yeah, that's, that's true. I, I think that's the big thing with Elon. But the cop, uh, the the thing about the music now. Um, yesterday, I was broadcasting. I, I got the PUBG Mobile on my um, my uh, tablet here. I was able to bring it up through uh, a screen sharing onto OBS, and I, I, I it's on the replay for the people that are watching this. It's, and uh, um, I was really ecstatic. It did bounce bounce out a couple times. But when I went to go post it, and I almost wasn't going to post it up over on uh, YouTube, which I usually repurpose Rumble and YouTube. And when I was filling in all the post information on the YouTube, I, it, it on the the thing in the uh, the uh, the user management thing, whatever they call that thing, it mm -hmm. said copyright. I said, "What's this?" When I hit it, they said they tagged it as a copyright, but it says it's not going to count as a strike because they know it's associated. So I guess they put something in my uh, down they added to whatever i added that this was co the, the beginning music of the game was copyrighted or something like that I right think. so where if that was an outright piece of music i would have got a, i was almost not going to go post it because of that because i'm very sensitive about the copyright especially on youtube um but right. twitter like you said god I, I blared music on there for you know you know 45 minutes to an hour plus and uh they they don't I guess they don't really care. They, I don't think they care, but I don't think they, I don't, I don't know what it is, but for me, it's working. That's all I know. Right. For right. me, it's working. Definitely. Right. And I'm, I'm good with them. I don't have any issues or whatever. Yeah. But other people have concerns. Like I said, I think it's technology. I think it's with the way he's doing business. There's something people don't like, and I'm not sure what it is. I just don't understand. Yeah. I don't have the problem that everybody else is having yeah. right now. Yeah. Once well, paying for it, I'll give them that. But yeah. he's got to make he's got to make money off of it. Want to say like hi to said, Nancy in the chat? There, she's saying hi to you, Tony. Nancy. Good morning, lady. How you doing? Good morning. We just we're just having an impromptu uh, guest stars. I have these uh, with Tony. Everyone, I think the last one we had was a few weeks back, and stuff like that. A couple and, of weeks ago, uh, yeah. yeah, and uh, I think it's a it's a good practice to utilize the the resources because, like you said, on the previous platform we're on, you know, it you got to have other places where people know where you're going to be at and twitter i like i said um let's see what she twitter live has no copyright issues been going music been going music quizzes on there for years with no problem yeah that's true nance yes um and uh i, I think the the thing with twitter now where x should say I'm calling. I'm going to call, call it Twitter X. I'm going to I'm going to use the term Twitter X for a while, and um, but I'm not going to use the word tweet. I decided I'm not going to say tweet on Twitter and have fun. I'm just going to like all the other platforms. I say post on this platform and have fun. I'm back to oh my god. How are we doing on the 
Or is she beating you up? That's all I want to know. No, no, I'm not getting beat up. No, 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 no. It's just uh, the cats uh, just dropped a uh, a Pyrex, uh, one of her favorite Pyrex. Uh, um, what's that? Her only Pyrex. It's a measuring thing there as far as that goes. And uh, Nancy, behave. Don't mind this, Rich. I'm going to let you finish your... Uh, am I still glitching? You're good now. Am I good? Okay. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I see it. I, I see it on the screen there as far as that goes. Okay. Oh, Nancy, man, behave yourselves. What are they doing here? Let me, let me catch up on nothing, the comments nothing there. Nothing rich, nothing rich, nothing rich. Oh, it's a cage match. No, no, no. No, you don't want to, you don't want, nah. You don't if, want if it's a cage match, I'm, I know I'm losing before even going in and stuff like that. I just no, want to make sure she, she was about the other app we got going on. Yeah, I thought she was, uh, I just wanted to make sure she was, she was doing okay and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to make sure she was like, <laughs> something like that hurt. But yeah, um, Go even ahead. the Instagram threads, I'm not even too big on that. I'm not, people are going crazy over there. I'm like, for what? Right. We really see a whole lot of the hype. It's a new connection. Okay, cool. We're just going to roll with it. I'm probably going to have to look at Clapper because a lot of people talking about it. I also heard something else that caught my interest about it. Yeah. I, talk, I was talking to somebody this week. Um, Rumble, I still got to work on a little bit, but I can at least catch videos and replays of right. some of the people that I do watch who are over there that's not on other platforms. But we're going to see how it goes. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Rumble, I haven't. Uh, that's one uh, one place there that uh, I haven't really of late been using too much. I guess I'm I'm getting pretty much settled in with uh, with Twitch, as far as that goes. You've been uh, settled in with Twitch. You're trying to see if you're going to expand it somewhere else. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a good alternative and stuff like that. As far as like I said, you have to have the alternatives. Now the the Twitter bit, like I said, I'm going to be returning. It will be 30 days uh, uh, this Wednesday, so the next day will be, you know, there'll be it'll be a Thursday, and it was primarily just that I was dissatisfied with uh, uh, Elon's uh, decision to uh, uh, do that restriction. Well, the li he calls it a limit. Any you could say limit. It's a restriction. As far as yeah, it was pissing people off. I, I did see yeah. it that weekend. I don't know yeah. what people talk about. Yeah. That. I don't but the that thing of it is, it's uh, it's and i fully respect the fact that he owns twitter he owns x now okay mm -hmm. and for people to try and dictate that oh you should be doing this no he's a business person he's going to do it he has two other businesses that are very very successful despite what anybody says about him highly and, successful. yeah exactly and i always say this he, he, the, the man is he's launching rockets so that in itself right there um you know, uh, if uh, Zuckerberg was launching rockets, I'd probably respect him a little bit more than, than the, the the guy he is now. But <laughs> well, I mean, the only thing against Zuckerberg was that movie. Yeah, if he did the business the way he did. It was kind of messed up. The same way with McDonald's. Yeah, but if it's a farce, well, that that's a that's a dirty secret you don't hear about until later after the fact, and then it's just like, oh wow, you know, I had yeah. I had high praise for this, but then when you hear about the dirty little secret, it's like. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's shocking. And, and that's what a bunch of people is too. I was, and before that movie years back, I, I really didn't, I wasn't really into the Facebook. I had it, but I never really wrapped myself around Facebook as much as everybody has and stuff right. like that. Um, I guess I was just getting into, into, do you need help out there? No, I'm Okay. She's, she's, I'm putting <laughs> the new, I'm trying to put the news on and see what I'm missing in case anything pops up. Yeah. But, um, let me see here. I get the. We talked about a few things last night on Glick Show. We were just, we were just kicking it. Now, how long? I, I left that. Now, train. where's Jeff been? Jeff's. I didn't see Jeff up there. As far as I was watching Jeff some was of the up replay. There last night. I'm not sure what happened, but like I said, I know Jeff has the family, and every now and then he may not make it, so I'm good. Right, right, right. Look makes a big old stink when somebody doesn't show up. Uh, he, I, I he, sometimes he needs like, a. <laughs> he needs a. Just sitting here mad at us talking about you don't know what's going on, what's yeah. happening. No. We ain't got nothing like 10 hours a week yeah. like you do, even though we be trying to make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's something. Um, you, know, you know I've been following the Canadian football, um, and I actually yes. watched more Canadian football last night. It's on the CBS um, uh, second channel, sports channel. They were they had I watched um, was it was right. the first game? It was the uh, the end of the Lions. Uh, 
or no, it was the uh, Air, uh, the Toronto uh, Argonauts. They beat the uh, um, the Roughnecks. Okay, but right, out right after that, I watched a little bit of. Uh, they had the Lions and Elks last night. Elks are they're on they're 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 clueless. They're, they lost again last night, and they were at home. They're clueless. Yeah, they are. It says sorry play, but I know why the air. After seeing the, uh, it's actually the first time I've seen the team I'm rooting for play. And I watched. Uh, I, I mean, I, I think I watched about a good uh, towards the tail end of the first half. And all the second half, they have a defense. It's oh my freaking god! Really? Oh my god! They have uh, that their defense. That's what's keeping them in um, the, the division. But the one thing about the Canadian football, when I was watching both teams or both games and stuff like that, they like going for the long bomb all the time. That's the excitement. Play- yeah, it, 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 yeah, and it just compared to you know they they do some running and stuff like that, but it seems like if they're going to pass, they're they're passing for more than fifteen plus yards. They don't go for the little chop chop chops. Of course, they they, the short pass, right? And I think what the reason that dictates that they only have three downs compared to four downs when they're playing. They only mm. play three downs, so that could be a factor and stuff like that. But uh, the Argonauts they beat the Roughnecks thirty-one to thirteen. So they're they're always up in the thirty range and stuff like that. So uh, right, right, right. Um, so it was pretty exciting. You know, there was nothing really on TV. I think on the replay, the beginning, you were you were going over your TV things. Last night. I was laughing at this one. I was doing the same thing last night. <laughs> it's just worse. So I was just laughing my ass off and stuff like that. It's like that, that's when I finally caught the you know the the. I went back to the second game there and stuff like that because there's actually nothing on and stuff. So I, I just continue watching. You are in upstate New York. Yes. You know where Rye, New York is. Rye is up, uh, that's up in the Schenectady over by area. Connecticut. Yeah, by it's, it's over, Rye, or no, Rye is over by Kingston. Yes. Have you been over there? Have you been to that park where they got over there? The what now? They got an amusement park over there. Oh, n- not aware of that. No, no, that's more. Yeah. That's consi- yeah, where I'm at, Tony. That's considered downstate. So Rye. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I didn't know if he had traveled over there or not. But no. they had a music park yeah. over there. I went when I was a kid. Hang on. What's that, Pam? It's upstate for New York City, but it's downstate. Oh yeah, upstate for New York City, but downstate for us here and stuff. But what kind of park yeah. is there? It's like a little amusement park. Uh huh. It's not a carnival, but it's not a big part. I okay. went when I was a kid. I remember it. And there was a story on it yesterday. One of the rides got stuck going backwards for 10 minutes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my God. I played it on a good show last night. I let them see it. He was like, oh, they're going to go crazy. I said, I've been there. I know they suing somebody. I know they suing Oh, yeah. They, they, they're probably going to close the joint down now because of this, the lawsuit yeah, maybe that's itself. Because that, that's not the place where they had the crack on the roller coaster, is it? That's in North Carolina. That's in Charlotte. Oh, in Charlotte. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yeah. And they found a second crack on it. I heard that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, just... I'm like, yeah, let me go sit my butt down. I don't think I'm going to go on any of those rides. I can't fly with that damn thing over my chest. I can't be flapping my wings. <laughs> I can remember. I, I there's a, a vivid memory uh, down there in Coney Island. Uh, we're down there with my grandparents. My father took me and my younger brother, who passed away a few years back. He was, uh, I was ten. He was like eight, I think. We went on the the the, the rickety wooden. Roller coaster, where on Coney Island? The Jeez. well, it looked pretty new back in the day there. Okay, but you back know, the day, yes. <laughs> but then I, I think about all these modern rides that are, you know you're supposed to be like pure, you know, their safety's to the max and stuff, and it's evidently not. And I just remember right. all you had was that bar in front of you hanging on for dear life, and um, uh, the only way I would get on there, of course, my 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 younger brother willie he goes oh i'm gonna get on that stuff and i didn't want to get on my father said well i'll give you a dime okay i'll give you i'll give you 10 cents and 10 cents back, back then was, was worth something. Like, you can buy okay. stuff for a penny. yes and um i look back i was i remember i was scared shitless on that oh i, I just uh Close. and um but i've been on some rides when i was younger and stuff but i don't i wouldn't dare get on one of the the freaking teacups that spin around down disney going around and stuff you gotta <laughs> do that you gotta do that it, it, that's life you gotta do that that's a part of life you gotta well i'm just saying now that i'm older and stuff i don't think i'd take the chance and stuff like that because uh you know it, it's just like if an accident's going to happen it's going to probably eventually catch up with you and happen, but... our, our equilibrium isn't the same anymore mm. that's the correct true true <laughs> plus uh 
yeah, it just uh, it, it just makes you dizzy a lot more quicker and stuff. I I think Jason, you like those rides though, don't you? He hasn't been on them yet. Oh, he hasn't. Okay. I thought you took him on a you didn't you have, you had a video I think I seen where you took him on some rides. We took him to a little carnival that was around. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't done Disney. He hasn't done Disney. Okay. Disney. Oh, That's on okay. The okay, that's on the list. Yeah, no. We're because gonna take... they live in the Disney World. There's Disney World that's closer. Disneyland is in California. We're not going out. There. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wait, Disney World is closer. Disney World is closer. Yes. Yeah, I'm just wondering if Disney's going to be. At first, I was questioning which one had the yacht. I thought it was Disneyland because it's an island. No. They Disney have different Land names. Have a yacht? No. Disney World does? Disney World has some stuff. Well, I'll, I'm going to take you one year. Don't worry. That's, that's part of the major plan. I got to yeah. take you down there. Yeah. You, yeah, you, well, you, you, you and your brother going to hang out down there because you were in the Universal Studios, but you was a baby. You're probably too young to remember. I'm going to yeah, you've been to Universal Studios. You was a baby. I mean, baby, baby, like maybe two. And it was heavy pushing you around that park. <laughs> 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 it was heavy pushing you around that park. Universal Studios is huge. Yeah. I had no idea I estimated that park. Mm -hmm. Humongous. I was like, my God. It was a cart ride. You know how to get the little carts to take everybody yep, to the yep, main park? Yep, the park yep, yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. was a 15, 20 minute walk after that. Just to get to the park <laughs> after the entrance, <laughs> so we leaving, and then it wants to rain. I said, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That was oh lord, that's oh you got the belt. You got the belt. Yeah, he always gives me the belt. To let me know. I'm sure. No, that that's that's re, that's a respect for for dad there and stuff. You know, it's like uh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, thank you. So, thank you. so what what's plans for today? Anything? Nope. Okay. Take it easy. You fine. Yeah. I'm taking it easy. Yeah, I just uh, like yeah, I, I wanted to come up and uh, I, I'm 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 glad you accommodate like you normally do, and I uh, I'm reciprocal and stuff. I guess I'm not comfortable about bringing anybody up <laughs> because. Uh, well, I mean, no, it's fine. You just got to get the people. All of us are on Twitch. I don't know why a bunch of us aren't watching and or following each other, yeah. except for today is a Sunday morning. Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow's thirty first. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're, yeah, the month's so, already over. Even but, when I do the other platform, I got it on all the channels so everybody can see in case they want to come up. Right. But people just don't come up. Right now, people are in church. I got that. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sunday. Yeah, just a right slow day and stuff. For me, it's, it's a, a slow day. A bunch of us are on Twitch. A bunch of us aren't there all the time watching. I mean, I can't even catch everybody anymore. Right, right, and I right. And I used to try to I would lose come in and say, hey, what's up? What's going on? Even well, you know, I, I, we still, we're still uh, in saying that, and I, I, I agree with you totally. It's just like we're sort of missing that, that aspect that we had HAPS at, the, at any given day. There was at least five, three or five, three to eight people that were up. 10 on, to 20 of us. Yeah, <laughs> it, back in the day, 10 to 20, exactly, yes. And at night, there was, it, you had a whole host of uh, rooms that were open on and stuff like that and stuff like that where – Twitch, uh, you know, there's people who are here. We know they're here and stuff. You know, it was good to see Walt. He's back. He's been back uh, yes. the last couple of weeks and stuff like that. So he's rebroadcasting. So uh, I think he got sort of tired of TikTok. Um, and uh, what is it? That I think he, I, got tired of he had a good following on TikTok. He, 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 but the content he puts out is just solid. I mean, some of the pictures. It is. Man. Absolutely. Melanie. I'm going to get on her later. <laughs> Absolutely. And Debbie's show, too. Debbie. Okay. Don't I, worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> no problem. I'm just going to leave, leave it where it is. I'm leaving it where it is, okay? <laughs> Following your lead, Please Tony. Go, go some of our uh, airtime slash cantina chronicles. <laughs> oh, okay. Air, it's an airtime thing. Okay. Say no more. Say no more. So that's, you know, that's one thing. I, was I, bananas. I've never, was I never bananas. went to... I never even got to the point where I, I sort of take a little sneak peek into airtime. I, 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 I guess there's so much here on Twitch and, like I said, Rumble and you got the Twitter Live. And, you know, I'm surprised I don't use YouTube Live, but uh, I, I guess um, I want to just maintain the, let's see, always arguments there, Rich. <laughs> That's Believe me, uh, Tony keeps me informed. I guess as far as he just says that, I just I just think of the old Habs days as far as that goes. And uh, uh, that Wood was... came on there, 
and that's part of what he was talking about Tuesday night. Oh. He went up in there Tuesday night, just sitting there listening and watching, and it was a big old back and forth. Yeah. And he was like, "Wasn't this happening two, three years ago?" I said, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." The flashback came into effect. <laughs> I'm so damn. <sighs> Oh, geez, that's cool. That's uh, I started playing online craps and blackjack. Oh, and Melanie that. says it's worse and, than. And whole... Melanie says yeah, it's bad. It's worse it's than bad. Haps. Wow, I can't imagine that because, well, you know, like I said, I I I, I want to say Haps wasn't to a total wash for me. I know Tim Fan forty three. If he was here, he'd be posting right now. Haps sucks, but uh, it's one of those things that you know, once you lose something. And you look at it, it's like, okay, it's gone. But I'm remembering, you know, like uh, uh, the people that, you know, it always comes down to the people, you know, as far as uh, um, still it associate. It comes down to the people. And I, I'm yeah. even off of my soapbox of it. It's been over. It's been a year. Yeah, yeah. I'm off my soapbox. But it, it's soapbox always good to, you know, we can't go back, but we can still remember the good times and stuff like that. And it still puts a smile on our face and stuff like that, which is good. And I did and, as much reminiscing as I could. Yeah. And people wanted me to get over it. I'm pretty much over right now. I'm trying to see what else is out there, what else we can do, how else we can relive what yep. we had. Yep, and I, I, I'm on full support of that, Tony. You know that. We don't we don't have what we had before. And I'm at the move on point now that other people were when it dropped. Yeah. I am. So yeah. it's about seeing what's going to happen. Like and, I got a couple of broadcasts. I appreciate everybody for the support that they yeah, have yeah. been giving with what I've been doing. And Melanie. And I'm just keep if you would agree with this, Melanie, certain people shouldn't be in the room together, which is true. I think, you know, that's a, that's a takeaway. Well, it ain't just them two, Melanie. Trust me, it ain't just them two. It's a couple of others that yeah. should not be in yeah. the room. But isn't there some rest isn't there restrictions to where the, whoever's hosting the room can decide who comes into the room, basically, on the yes. airtime? Yeah, yeah. So yes. I just, um, Everybody's got their own room. Yeah. Everybody does things their own way. And here's the bad part. We all go to the room where the craziness is. Oh, uh, we yeah. To where we're too well, that's just like uh, my, my feeling about people that go to NASCAR. They're there for the races. No, they're there to watch the, the spectacular crashes that they have. And fortunately Some enough, there for the yeah, they're there for the race. But I think the majority of you know, the, the, the crashes. For the race. I've known some back, NASCAR fans. Yeah. Yeah, and they are dead serious about what those cars are doing. Yeah, what it takes to maintain true. the cars. They're watching the pit. That's there are true. some people who are diehard, and I was like you. I'm like, God, they ain't there for all. You mean to tell me go sit there and watch a car do a left yeah, turn they're... before? <laughs> no. I'm not. I'm not. And I would talk to these guys. And they were like, Listen, this is what this guy's got to do. This is what this guy's got to yeah. do. This is how fast they got. I'm like, Really? They said, Yeah. This is what we be watching. I'm like, Oh snap! And it's it's bananas. Yeah. But they yeah. they get something out of it now. As far as cantina which used to be air time because they changed the name right it's pretty much a advanced version of zoom okay okay we all got our own we can all do our own thing in certain rooms there's certain craziness that's going on yeah and i read the terms of service even with the change right oh there was a the change in the... go ahead yeah they made changes on the platform the biggest thing is doxing and gaslighting and the bots are the new thing right now because he put the bots on there and anybody and everybody can create a bot which is started so so they addressed that with an update to for it's the same platform yes, but they did change with the you have, to agree. you have to agree to the bots if you don't like the bots just get off the app and well that, that's the thing about the bots but i'm just saying they, they actually put the term gaslighting in in the terms of agreement yes oh wow wow nice. hey, remember hey, how we read what's up sadie how hey you sadie doing? we read the terms of service on haps right and they spoke on it. right I read the terms of service on Air Time and I just sat there for 20 minutes yeah. reading it and trying yeah. to understand and break it down. I didn't realize how free you were. We talked to the guy who created the app. Right. We talked to him about 30 minutes. Okay, right? yeah, and he yeah. He was just yeah. breaking it down. We had a good conversation with him. And with the bots, there's a concern with it. He was like, the bots are going to be here. For everybody out there, the bots, every major business is going to have bots. Right. Period. I, I, you got yeah, to hang it up. Yeah, the yeah. All of them is please watch how and, these bots. Are and being. there's so people that stuff. use bots for their broadcasts to do things in the background. So you know, yeah. all bots are not bad. They're just uh, a tool that some people use. All of them are not bad. I 100 percent agree. But yeah. the people who create them are the ones who make it bad, if you will. Right. I agree. We've yeah. seen a lot of that. So yeah. for all the businesses out there. Please be wary of how these things are being created and made. I know any and everybody can make them, but for the love of God, they are defaming people. They're embarrassing <laughs> people. They are shaming people. They are laying people out there. There's, there's a bunch of them out there, but you got to get the freedom of speech to those as an entity right. as well. That's the issue we're going to run into. Right, right. 
That's something. That, that that is something, though. Is this, uh, you know, it is. I, I think the vast majority. I think what what the Elon there. He said he had to control the. I, I guess AI. That's what the bots too. Just saying that they're more intelligent, as far as that goes. As far as what they're trying, what they're doing with them, and you know, some people. You know, the majority. Uh, reputation the bots get that there are bad but there are bots out there that uh like i i think i have one on here um it's in the background i can't i can't bring the thing up i i, I know i have one bot that i loaded up it's for um i think it's for the uh, uh text to talk that's a bot that i've used in the past yeah and it's still sitting yeah. there and stuff like that so you know there's they're a tool to be using things that you don't you know it's going to be automated and stuff like that, but when we think of bots, it's, we put I think we almost put them in the same category as they're they're like in the on that level of a troll or something like that. Yes, you know. So it's just uh, um, it's just interesting as far as doing the stuff that uh, brought, and then and that's the thing about the internet. It's interesting in doing things like yesterday. What I was telling you earlier that um, um, I've tried it a couple times before that game I play PUBG Mobile. Which is a great game, but the one I play on the computer, the the PUBG Battleground, that's on mm -hmm. steroids. That's like I can only play like that two games in a row, and I have to take a break. It's it, it's so real. It's it's more realistic than Call of Duty, I think, in in that sense. That's uh, crazy. It is, but it's fun. It, it gets the adrenaline flowing. But uh, yesterday, and it's not about the game. It's about the the workflow that I was able to. Because I've tried, for, when you do the PUBG Mobile, which you can, I have it on my, my uh, computer here, it's, you have to go, when you load it up, you have to go through an emulator. And that restricts you to a little bit, but I can do it uh, on this, because it's Windows 11 has what's called a, uh, um, a Windows uh, sub, subsystem for Android. You can load up Android using the AK, what they call an AKP, APK file. You sideload it, in a manner of speaking. But what I'm talking mm -hmm. about yesterday, what I did, and it was a clean broadcast other than a couple, two interruptions, but I was able to reconnect. We've already had one con one disconnect here already because I'm seeing that even though, uh, because my stream manager, we're at 22 minutes, but I'm looking at the OBS, we're at 54 minutes. So, you know, it just... It uh, restarted, yeah. Yeah, restarted. restarted. So I'm going to have to splice it together because I'm going to throw this over on YouTube because I... I I like our talks together that I want an archive of it. So that's why I go for it. No problem. I appreciate it. Yeah, no yeah. And, uh, but the, I, I guess the point I'm getting to is yesterday uh, when I was doing the PUBG broadcast, it was an hour broadcast, and, um, and it's utilizing the tablet because that's where you get the full effect of the mobile for PUBG. And right. using a, 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 another app, uh, a screen sharing app, to bring it into the uh, PC and then via OBS, and it was a great broadcast. I didn't have, and it, I was surprised. I, I didn't want to say anything during the broadcast because I knew something was going to interrupt. But towards the tail end, um, and it's just like anything, nothing's perfect on this thing called the internet. But I was really happy with that as far as, uh, you know, and I've, we've always talked about this before, trying new things as far as broadcasting with the different uh, uh, tools that we have and stuff like that. So it was just another aspect that... What I did yesterday, I tried two or three times before, but yesterday I just happened to be piddling around here, and then one link thing let to let was like, oh, this works. I wonder if this. Let's see how long I can stay on a broadcast. So it, it was pretty interesting to present that type of game that's mostly for a, uh, an iPhone, an Android phone, or a tablet that you can't necessarily give the full effect. Right. When you you use an a, an APK file for it and stuff like that so but it's a fun game i like it <laughs> you enjoy your game oh it well th that's one of the things as far as uh, um i was watching this couple also um on another uh youtube there um they're a retired couple and uh um, they're a really nice couple they're talking about the um the 10 things you need to do being retired and stuff like that. So I, I'm all ears. I because I, did you put that up. I think I did see that. Yeah. Uh, but one of the things they said, you got to keep an active mind. And I think, uh, you know, the rap that, uh, you know, you can have too much of something like too much, uh, too much of the uh, playing the computer games and stuff like that, but playing a game and stuff like that, if it keeps the mind active and, you know, uh, and there's fun involved in that, 
and it's I think that's good for you and stuff like that. So I guess that's my excuse to play PUBG, but I'm not playing it all the time. Well, you got I mean you got a decent hobby. Keeps you out of trouble. You got a way to keep your mind busy. You got a way to not irritate your loved ones. Right. Yes. Win win. It's a win win. And for a lot of me, I mean, I normally would travel. Right. Go out, go see people, go hang out for the weekend, go to clubs. When I started realizing how much money I spent, that's when I sat down. Oh yeah. I started yeah. doing this man. Yeah. Because to travel is gonna cost you at least a grand. At yeah. least oh easily to yeah. go local. Like I'm talking driving distance. Yeah. Then we're talking flying, you're gonna hit fifteen two Gs. And then just Honestly. the time involved if you are flying, going through the airport and stuff. The time involved, yeah. And, and and that's what's catching up to me more than anything. It was nothing for me to take the time, go run, yeah. grab a cup of coffee, and I'm good. Yeah. Coffee doesn't work as much as it used to anymore because of how much I used to drink it. I have it for work and road trips. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I don't have it in the house, but I also got to rest. I'm older now. Yeah. I used yeah. to hit that high where I get with nothing every weekend <laughs> in my 20s. And 30s. You got to do it in moderation. So it's sort of yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely in my 30s. I was all over the place, man. I ran up and down this East Coast like it was nothing. <laughs> One for work and two for recreation, but money was always... Flowing. Flowing. I had yeah. to sit there before, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, Nancy says, word puzzles for her to keep the mind going, and being creative for me is another thing. It's there. Yeah, yeah, and that's how you have to look at it. You know, you got to keep the mind working. Whatever itself. you used to want to do up here, yeah. but you try to yeah. never keep you going for it. Yeah. And yeah. even when you hit a hit a point where you've done everything, relax your brain. Yeah. Sit down, just don't do a damn thing. And I want to say this to everybody out there, just don't do nothing. Sit down, if it takes a month, Sit down, watch any and every movie you ever wanted to watch. Watch the news, watch the sports, catch an old sitcom, well, clear your email. Yeah, if, it'll take you off to clear your email. Yeah, a bunch of you don't even look at you. You there? I lost you. Oh, then your mind will be clear and you can do what you want. You can do, you'll be remote. <laughs> okay, okay. I told a friend of mine, I, that we can look around she for another to do with herself, and I said. Have you done this yet? Have you done this yet? Have you done? I said, okay, clear your email. She was like, I didn't think about it. I said, mm -hmm. I got thirty thousand emails sitting over. There. I'm still trying to clear it. And every time I clear it, another thousand pops up. This is why I don't bother the Republicans, the Democrats, the senators, the governors, the representatives, and the mayors anymore. Well, they don't have it. I got. They don't you know, affect your life at this point in in times, so to speak, is what you're saying. You know, they don't, but it will keep up with the current events. And yeah, you got to. You got. Yeah, you got to keep current. Yeah. But the thing is, with a lot of the stuff, and I, I, I look back. I mean, I used to be consumed by this crap before I got married to the missus. I mean, I was consumed mm -hmm. to where. Um, I can honestly say, Tony, if you, you, if you, you probably what you probably just say you're just another one of those knucklehead uh, talking out his ass uh, type individuals and stuff like that back in the day. You know, and you know what I'm talking about in being in the military. I was one, and I can say I, I, I didn't think I would ever come to say I was one of those individuals as far as uh, on the political side and stuff like that. And um, um, and looking back on it, it's like, I, I was ignorant. It was ignorance and stuff like that. So. Politics affected the military big time. Yeah, yeah. That's why we watched it so much. And I know why they, a lot of the opinions are formed on p specific political parties. Right. But then I've also been over there and heard people who were support of one party switch or be mad at that specific party based on what we had going on. Right. We could talk about it all day, but until you're an active part of it, you don't really understand it. Exactly. And for exactly. those of us who are military and or deployed, we were a part of a couple of those decisions. Gotcha. And even yeah. when we got over there, we started getting mad at the decision that were made because we weren't seeing what we thought we were going to see. Right. That's going to seem very vague to a lot of people. Yeah. But a bunch of people who were active duty yeah. or military at all, deployed a TDY or even assisted as a truck, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because in 06, everybody over there was mad. Right. Yeah. Was worse. Yeah, that's true. It was worse. Um, it got to the point where Cass was like, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Catching up on the con. Now, now let's see. Nancy says once you start losing memory, it gets scary. Yes, it, it is because I seen uh, uh, my grandmother. She had Alzheimer's, and my mother. She had dementia, and Alzheimer's uh, on the last couple years of her life. Years back. Um, let's see. Check out Health Cox Richardson blog if you want to keep up with the current news on in one place. Yeah. The one thing about Alzheimer's, there's a, something that came out here. There's a second drug that came out that seems more very prominent and very strong because they have one out right now that's supposed to slow it down, but there's another one in the works for Alzheimer's 
that I heard that it's supposed to be um, a lot better and stronger than that. Uh, let's see, Nancy. Uh, let's see, Melanie says, Nance, I have brain fog every day. It's, it's well, that's normal forgetfulness. We get, I, yeah, you even get that, Melanie. And let's see, Nancy says if she's a political me. historian and professor. Okay, on the the uh, Heather. Brain Richard. fog is something else. I mean, Melanie, get that yeah. checked. Yeah, listening. I've been yeah listening to other app listening to the other app is a brain thumbing experience okay that's different okay i know what you're talking there melanie's laughing I know and, then, exactly what you're talking about. and i'm pretty sure i have add so i hear you okay that's what nancy's replying to you tony there as far as that goes and yeah no. she th 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 ain't nothing wrong with y'all yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with y'all. I've been around and I've counted with y'all. Uh -uh. I ain't falling for it. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just uh, uh, I keep, you got to keep up with the news and stuff like that, and the and the the, the political thing that what Tony was talking about. You know, there's current issues going on. You got to be you got to be aware of them. You can't be with your head in the thing. But then again, there's a, there's an equal uh, an even. You got to be in a, a place where it, it, it's not all consuming because there's more to life and if they don't directly impact you and stuff like that. And so I do think I have squirrel, I guess, whatever that means. That's Nancy acting up. That's how I know ain't nothing wrong with her. Okay. <laughs> oh, the dog. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would go to my, my dog when we when he was alive, Max. i go, squirrel, and he'd be looking. He, 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 he'd react on that word, so... It's like, but, uh, but at any rate, uh, Tony, we're at, let's see, we're at an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to go ahead and end the broadcast. I don't want to, I, I, I'm not into doing the, uh, nonsensical nonsense marathon broadcast and stuff. And I know you got Jason there and, um, you more than accommodated, uh, uh, you know, which I really appreciate, you know, it really means a lot and stuff. So, uh, um, we're going to. We're going to go ahead and end the broadcast here as far as uh, this uh, uh, Twitch guest stars with Fireman Rich and uh, Tony D. And um, I'm just going to, because there's nobody else here, Tony, I'm going to say, where can we find you? <laughs> I love this. You can this. find me on TikTok, T-O-N-Y-T-O-N-1-9-7-2-3. You can find me on Twitter, T-O-N-Y-T-O-N-1-6-3. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me on Twitch. No, yeah, Twitch, Rumble, Instagram. T O N Y T O N seven two. You can find me up here with Fine Man Rich. Every now and then we'll do this. Appreciate you, Rich, as always. You can find me on Late Night Parent with Ted Hicks. Ways to follow the show, latenightparent.com. That's my man for real. Appreciate him. You can find me on the Sunday Night School podcast, my man Ace World. Sunday nights, 7 30 ish. It goes down like that. You can find me on Nonsense Conances podcast with Luke and Jeff Hawk. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays. I'm all over the place. I tend to do my own thing every now and then. Just look for the random multi-broadcaster. DA, random multi-broadcaster. I've actually Googled myself and I've seen it. You'll be seeing Bill King's Fantasy Football League coming soon. I might do something right after this. Oh, okay. All right, I'll have to I hang. I'll might. have to hang out. I gotta do a, a yeah, bathroom. We'll have to hang out. But I think we'll have a little bit of time. We can do a nice little thirty-minute segment. Real okay, I, I'm one. available. <laughs> I just, I just got, <laughs> I just got to refresh my water <laughs> jug here. You gotta go refresh your water jug. <laughs> um, I appreciate any and everybody out there who's been watching myself, watching Rich, all of us from the former community who are still trying to stick together. I thank you all myself. I do. You all motivate me to keep doing this. And I'm still running, even if it may be on fumes, from what you all did for me last year and the year before. Honestly, thank you all, thank you all, thank you all. All I right, Tony. I like again. Yeah, I'll stand by. I'll be up next. Give me about 15 okay. minutes, Rich. You too, bro. Go um, fill your water. Go make sure Mrs. <laughs> is okay. Melanie, Nancy, Stady, yeah. all of y'all. If y'all out there, tell everybody I'm about to come on in about 15. Right. Actually, give me five minutes. We're gonna go 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, which is seven minutes okay. right now. And Tony, I, I again, I really appreciate Tony D, uh, my my very good friend here on this thing called the internet, and my brother uh, veteran that I love saying, uh, fellow New Yorker, and uh, I always have a good time talking with Tony and stuff like that. It's great conversation, and uh, that's one of the things I really love 
about th what this internet has to offer and stuff like that. But I'm Rich Roberts, Fireman Rich here on Twitch. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, the morning coffee. Then Tuesday, Thursday, the uh, Fireman Rich audio podcast over there on Spotify for podcasters. I'll be returning to Twitter. Okay, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm getting used to the fact that it's. I was doing this, Tony X. You can find Tony D also there on. When I'm calling Twitter X at at Tony Tone one six three, and uh, uh, so uh, the one thing about coming back though, Tony, I can honestly say as we close here, the one thing I missed about not using Twitter was the DM capability. I did, you know, that right there is a godsend. It's still here. Because yeah, I know, it's but still here. I, I I restricted myself from using it and stuff like that. So I restricted myself in contacting you and. Hey, yeah. Rich. You know you could DM on Twitch, right? Yes, I know. I, yes, you've told me this before, Tony. <laughs> so I, I'm like, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to take the, I'm trying to take the blinders off. All right, folks. Um, again, this is Rich Roberts. As we close here, um, I hope you all are having a great weekend, and I hope you are all having a great Sunday. And uh, you all have a good one for the rest of the day. And we'll be back tomorrow morning for the Fireman Rich cof uh, Morning Coffee here on Twitch. So till then, you all have a great one wherever you may be on this big blue marble. Live life, have fun, ciao for now. As always, peace. Thank you again, Tony. Thank you, Thank you again, Nancy, Melanie, Sadie, being in the chat. Greatly appreciate it. Ciao for now. <laughs>